Hello everybody, this is Global Warming Skeptic, and this is The Young Turks is Exposed, episode number 19. This topic's going to be about some comments from John Ideola, or what the, however you pronounce that stupid name. But, more important than the name is the substance. He doesn't seem to know why people think that... There is a war on Christianity in this country. Let's listen to his comments, and I will come back with a response. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's crazy talk. He said he believes he's a Christian and then pretends to be a Christian. He refuses to just come out and say he's not a Christian, he's a Muslim, but that is exactly what he's saying. He is only pretending to be a Christian, uh, and then he's going to go on to... Uh, First of all... He never implied that he thought that Obama is a Muslim. What Huckabee is saying is he finds it hard for, for to believe, uh, well, he cannot fathom somebody who claims to be a Christian but then does things that make it hard to be a Christian in this country. He is not saying Obama is not a Christian. Never once did he say that. You are putting words into his mouth, and you are lying, John. Stop it. Uh, he goes to extremes to accommodate Muslim terrorists, shows nothing but disdain for Christians, and his administration will go down as the most anti-Christian in American history. So why do 70% of Iowa Republicans believe there's a war in Christianity? Because every right-wing Christian leader is telling them that he is a Muslim plant, and he is trying to destroy your church. No, that has nothing to do with it, John. We're about substance. We're not about the media. Okay, here's the thing. Obama has done more to support anti-Christian groups such as the Muslim Brotherhood overseas, supporting the overthrow of Gaddafi, supporting the revolution in Egypt before they were booted out. That was the Muslim Brotherhood. And also trying to overthrow Assad, where one group of rebels was the Muslim Brotherhood. Do you see a connection there? In addition, what he's done for gay rights, what he's done for trying to abolish um, abolish the commandments from various court buildings, there is no nothing in the Constitution that prevents the Ten Commandments from being on a court on a court room in a courthouse anywhere. So, you have a president who is not standing up for Christianity for how much he claims to be Christian, and this is what Mike Huckabee was bringing up, is this is a man who talks one thing to get elected, but then does another. Let's listen to anything else you have to say. Okay, he, he, he's not sure that the guy's a Christian, and that, uh, and that... Again, he never said that. That's why he's concerned about how he invited the Pope. Um, yeah, that's that's probably what a Muslim president would do, invite the Pope mm -hmm. to the White House. <laughs> okay, he he didn't think that one through completely. No, but he's like it's some sort of trick, and it's a Muslim, and and uh, he and he's of course pissed at the Pope as well. Yeah. Now notice he's going along with John's earlier statements that he claims he's a Muslim. When did Huckabee again ever claim that Obama was a Muslim? Nowhere. So, here's the thing, Young Turks. You're going to sit here and tell lies to your viewers to get more subscriptions to satisfy your sponsors that you won't talk anything about. And when it comes to truth, you just have nothing. You're going to sit here and over-exaggerate, misrepresent the words of others. You understand that this is going to turn off people not only from the Young Turks, but from the quote-unquote progressive movement. Because if there's one thing people don't like, and this is why they trust the media less than bankers now, they don't like liars. People don't like politicians because they're liars. People are starting not to like the media now because they're liars. 
the thing with banks is although they're jerks, they're sick, they're inhumane, but one thing they're not is liars. They'll screw you and tell you to your face. Let's listen to more. For believing in climate change and being more open to uh, homosexuals and not hating them entirely and not stripping away all their rights and, <laughs> and actually caring about the... There's a difference between tolerating a group and throwing a rainbow-colored party at the White House. There is a big, big difference, Cenk, and you know it. Yes, we should tolerate homosexuals. We should tolerate all expressive points of view. But there's a difference between toleration and showing a particular bias toward one side, which is what you're doing. And as a side note, by the way, state involvement in marriage is against the U.S. Constitution because marriage is a religious institution, always has been, always will be. It's all based on religion. So if you believe in a secular government, then why do you support gay marriage when marriage is, by its definition, not secular? Uh, uh, the needy, just like Jesus Christ would. But it, it's they're acting like... They're, they're mad that, at who he invited along with the Pope, but they're also mad at the Pope yes. for his beliefs, and hence they're mad that Obama is featuring the Pope mm -hmm. in the White House and what they view to be his political beliefs. But they love his political beliefs when they agreed with him, like so yeah. pro-life. I mean, where'd you get that from, Mike Huckabee, right? 100%, yeah. That's right, okay, so, but they're acting like he invited the Grand Ayatollah. <laughs> no, but he, no, he invited the Pope. The and if you hate him so much, why are you mad that Obama insulted him? You gotta choose one of those two to be pissed about. Right. If you have any uh, doubts about the compatibility of a Christian theocratic presidential candidate like Huckabee uh, getting into office, uh, let's find out what Huckabee thinks about democracy and the value of your vote in this video. What do you prescribe for citizens to do? How should people begin to get involved? so that um, we can fix this crisis of citizenship and bring back this balance between self-governance and government. Don, I know that most politicians say we want everyone to vote. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. I don't want everyone to vote. <laughs> if, if they're so Unless stupid. Unless they're voting the right way. Well, that's well. right. If they're going to vote for me, then they need to vote. If they're not going to vote for me, they need to stay home. I mean, it's that simple. But in the big picture, there are people who vote, and they have no idea what, what our Constitution says. Yeah, like like uh, our constitution that's in favor of democracy and, <laughs> and thinks everybody should get them. Okay, another horrible misrepresentation. First of all, Jenk, Huckabee never said that it should be illegal for people to vote. He never said that. He never said he was against a democracy. What he said is he does not want stupid people voting. Do you? I don't want stupid people voting. That does not mean I want them to stay home. What I want is for people to do their own research and not be stupid. That is what that statement means. And of course the staying home part, if they don't vote for him, that was pretty much joking. You should know better than that. But he never said to make anything illegal. He just said he doesn't want stupid people voting. If you want stupid people voting for our officials, then I'm sorry, but you're being irrational. And you're being even more irrational when you sit here and lie about the positions of others. You put the video right up there, Jank. You are a liar. Vote? <laughs> yeah. And I thought he, when I read it, I thought he was joking. But when you hear him, he doesn't seem like he's joking no. that much. I mean, other people laughed and stuff. He may but be joking, but he's not really joking. Yeah. Um, and I love the idea of this guy calling other people stupid. That's uh, hilarious. Uh, now, he went on to talk in that uh, interview about how the federal government wants to, quote, dissolve the republic, 
Sounds like you want to dissolve the republic because <laughs> yes. you're not that in favor of democracy. Anyway, he says, by placing the states under remote control. Okay, so it again triggered for me, why do they care so and I and it's funny that I have to remind myself every once in a while of this, right? Why do they care so much about states' rights? Mm. So that seems like a why is that a conservative issue versus a liberal issue? What I mean in the, in terms of like because some states want to restrict gay marriage. So okay, I get it why conservatives mm. would be in favor of that. But some states want to legalize marijuana and the conservatives hate that. Yeah. Some states want to uh, legalize assisted suicide. Conservatives hate that. So why do they care so much about it? and they get everybody riled up their base too. They're like states rights. It seems like such a peculiar Okay, now I'd like you to point to one conservative who said that states do not deserve the right to decide on these things. There is a difference between a conservative saying that a state is making the wrong decision versus a conservative who says they do not have the right to make that decision. This is what you do, Cenk. This is what the Young Turks is all about, and I'm a broken record, and I don't give a shit. You are a broken, because you're a broken record. See, what you do, you take something that somebody says, and you twist it, and then you argue against your own twisting of their words. No, they didn't say that. They didn't say that. What are you responding to? You know, here's the thing, Jank. You got the videos right there. Why are you arguing against a straw man? Why don't you respond to what they said? Hmm? You got the video right there. You don't have to forget it. You don't got to make up their position. It's right there. So stop creating straw men. You've done it for this whole video. Like legalistic thing to get worked mm. up about, right? And then I, and everyone said that I remember. Right. The original states' rights issue. Yeah. Slavery, right? So all and Jim of this. Crow and slavery, you mean the thing that Democrats were in favor of? History's not on your side there, buddy. You were the party who was in favor of slavery. You were the party who was in favor of Jim Crow. So don't tell me about slavery when your founder was a Native American killing, slave owning bastard. Segregation. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So it's not to say that the people who care about states' rights now want to go back to slavery. That's not what I'm saying. But the reason they cared about states' rights in the first place and what that triggers for them, it, it, it triggers for them, yes! Remember when they took our rights away by taking our slaves? So like, don't, don't take my rights yeah. away, I get to dominate. In my state, I get to dominate over other people. Yeah. I've been doing it for uh, hundreds of years and these sons of bitches are gonna come in here with their highfalutin federal government, right? <laughs> and take away my, my rights to hate on blacks, gays, or whoever I'm hating on today. Well, I got states' rights, right? That's what states' rights means. That's what Huckabee's talking about. Yeah. It, and I would say, finally, that that's to the extent that they ever genuinely cared about states' rights. They do definitely care about it on those particular issues, but as a, a general orientation towards politics, I don't think that they ever cared any more than liberals do. I think that when they had the chance to pass a federal bill that would affect all states that supported a policy that they approve of, in the case of DOMA or you know federal ban on abortion, those sorts of things, they're not going to stop and say, well, is this consistent with our political philosophy? No, I don't think that they ever genuinely cared about it, except when it came to slavery. Mm -hmm. Because the killing of another human being is the same. And by the way, murder is a state's rights issue, just so we're all clear. Murder is enforced at the state level, not the federal level. And see, there's the problem. It's just they make up positions and then they respond to it. Now, while we're here, before I sign off on this, we're going to do a little live check. See, I sent the Young Turks an email because I want them to account for some of their inconsistencies, particularly on 
Ahmed Mohammed and Sandra Bland, both stories that they just kind of fell asleep on ever since they didn't go their way. And I sent them an email message. I told them that I would like to be fair as to their position. I sent their press an email about it. So we're going to see if we got a response here. Into a Gmail. Let's see, it doesn't look like we got any emails. It's looking social. response. Anyhow, thanks for listening. God bless.